Wow, what a beautiful morning. We're up here on the Poudre River in Colorado, and today we're gonna to tell you a little bit about some nymph fishing, how to set up that rig. And it's one of the easiest ways to fish. Um, very, very effective. You see a lot of people doing this on the river for a reason. Um, nymphing's a really easy way to get after some fish that are feeding. 90% of everything they eat is underwater. When you see them up on the surface, that's only a little bit of what they're after. So we're gonna catch them while they're down low, hiding out from the hot sun, and eating a good meal. We're gonna start with a little beadhead pheasant tail right here. Then move into a really, just kind of a heavy, large nymph that's gonna drop everything down to the bottom. Behind that, the WD-40 here gets its name from the wood duck on the tail and on the thorax. All right, so I'm starting with just a regular nine foot leader. Um, on the end of the 10 foot three weight element two rod from Mudfly. Um, first fly I'm gonna tie on, it's just gonna be that pheasant tail. You get that thing on just through the eye of the hook, just like you normally would tie on any fly. From that first fly, we're just gonna drop a little, uh, probably some five X tippet from that guy. Tying that to the bend of the back of the hook. A little clinch knot like, like so. Make sure you use nippers here, your dentist will thank you. And in the middle, I'm going to add my heavy fly, which is this big, oversized nymph, big, kind of caddis looking thing. Then to the very last fly, another couple, two, three feet. 5x, 6x, 7x, depending on what the water clarity is. How much the fish have been fished. I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this last fly on. Little WD-40, about a size 20. These fish like little stuff. So here's what we've got set up here. Um, we've got the, the Element 2 uh, 10 foot three weight. Nice thing about the 10 foot three weight is you get that really light action out of the three weight, but that 10 feet is gonna allow you to work a very long nymph rig out in the river. So you're not working with the short rod and a really long, you've actually got some, uh, some tool to use to get that off the water, move it up and down the run. So if you grew up fishing like I did, you always had that red and white bobber. Once you start fly fishing, you don't use bobbers anymore, you use a bob bear or a strike indicator. Bob Bear is the French version. And we use this little guy here. And the way that goes on is you just, there's a hole in the top, double over your leader here, quite a ways up. Put the strike indicator, <laughs> put it through the strike indicator and just loop it over. So as I get close to this uh, water that I want to fish in, I'm looking to see what I can find in here, but I also, I want to fish it before I get in it and spook fish any more than I have to. You always want to work as close, as close to yourself as you can to start out with. There's a few things to know, you know, when in fishing, like I say, it's really easy, but a few simple concepts, one, this food that we're imitating with these flies is not swimming food. It's food that kind of drifts along. All right, we're not, unlike a streamer, but similar to a dry fly, this food's just drifting along and the fish are kind of moving just a little bit to eat it. Therefore, we don't want any drag on the surface of the water with our fly line or our leader or our strike indicator. We just want that food to be drifting by exactly the way the current's drifting. So it's gonna be key to have what we call a drag-free drift. Drifting along, la la la, drifting along. Another thing to know is that fish generally point their noses upstream. 
So when we set the hook, we want to set the hook downstream or against their noses. Otherwise, we're pulling it out of their mouth. We want to pull it against their mouth so the hook sets in the jaw. Very simple concept. So two things, drag free drift and set the hook against the current. I see fish working here. They don't look spooked. So I'm going to go ahead and get some line out just from right here and see if I can't pick one of these guys up. Quite a few fish working there. Nice fish. Nice fish. This little brownie. 